Hey, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to pass the NASM CPT exam, certified personal trainer. And I just passed my test a couple days ago. And so here's my certificate printout that I passed the exam. I've got some notes here about things you should focus on for the test itself. First off, I let you know that um, all the material, all the questions from the exam come right out of the book itself. So this is really all that you need. You can buy the, the hard copy, right? You can do the online course and there is a, a downloadable PDF version of the textbook online that you can download and, and study that way. And as far as the material itself, first of all, obviously you're gonna to wanna to know the OPT model and the different stages, exercises within each stage, the progressions and regressions, and the uh, exercise modalities. You wanna know all the assessments, the overactive and underactive muscles for each. Make sure you know your anatomic locations and planes of motion. There's quite a few questions about the structure of the heart and the function of the heart. I would say don't worry too much about the formulas. Along with the questions about the heart, the structure and the function, there was also a lot of, uh, a handful of questions about beta blockers. So know the effects of, of those. Also there were a handful of questions regarding hypertension, uh, constantly elevated arterial blood pressure so uh, do some studying on that so the videos and the online course as I said were helpful however I had a lot of trouble actually um, with the buffering the downloading of the videos so it took uh, quite a while for for them to play sometimes and so um, I just stuck with with reading the book everything you need is is right in here and I even like the anatomy the terminology you don't need any special apps you don't need uh, anything really outside of this textbook I would say that the biggest help was probably the quizzes and the pre-exam tests there's a quiz after each chapter that you can take um, an unlimited amount of times until you get a passing grade and then the pre-exam at the end of the uh, course was really helpful especially because there were actual word-for-word -word questions from that pre-exam on the actual exam itself so go through the material do the quizzes and uh, just repeat that and you'll do just fine if you have any questions let me know and if you like this video consider checking out this video and i'll see you over there take care